Okay, we thought we would lose. We Hi. lost we lost our wife our electricity. And strong wind. It's a very strong wind. Yeah. Uh, electricity's gone, water is gone. Yeah. We lost our tent outside. Two. Yeah, two tents. We lost two tents outside. Um you can see there's the remainder of it. It's not very good, but that's the remainder of it. The tent is gone. Check. Get! And the dogs, the local wildlife wants to come get hiding. Get! Yeah, get! All the neighbors, all black out. Right now we've got strong winds. They're gusting around 70 mile an hour, maybe. For 18 hours, we shall be not connected. Yep. I'm scared of the food. I'm scared of fire. Flooding. Flooding. The mountain coming down on us? Yes. I'm scared. Oh, I see you. Very windy back here. Yeah, strong. Making what are we making for our, our typhoon supper? Spaghetti because we don't have bran out so it's easy to <laughs> it's easy to eat. Supposedly I will cook fish for supper but it's there's a bones and then we don't have light so it's better this one. <laughs> Tonight is candlelight supper. Yeah. Okay. Got ourselves a Pretty breezy out here right now. Upstairs doors are slamming. Well, we made it through the storm and look at the damage. Uh-huh, now it's over there. We got all the decorations here along the ledge and it's they're all gone. For plants which were on this wall here. A lot of them got taken off at the last moment. Hi hon. Some of my pot in the box, <laughs> and also my lemon tree was fell down. Yeah, Santa's came down. Huh? Santa Claus came down. Yeah. Yeah. These these lights are probably Santa. they probably Santa. they stop if they're any good or not. I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, your butterfly. Yeah, the butterfly flew away. <laughs> Yeah, the butterfly snapped off. No, it's still, it didn't no, break. Just the butterfly flew off. The butterfly flew away. Look at the but everybody is okay, everybody is safe. That's what's important. You can see even the mountain over there got hit really bad. It stripped a lot of those trees. We had a lot of trees on top up there. Just a minute, Liam. Very bad. The window blew out? Did she have it open or closed? Yeah. Okay, so we are going to come down here the road. Looks like we got a, a lot of debris here. Let's check this out. This is what's left of the, the guard shack here. There's some more guard shack. Bunkhouse destroyed. Bunkhouse got destroyed. Oh my god.
How bad is it up that way? Pretty bad. This is the bunkhouse where all the workers stay for our, our uh, business, or our house, where all the workers live. Destroyed. This is the sorry, sorry store that we come to. Yeah, a lot of damage. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Everybody okay? Yes. Yeah. That's that's good. Can't tell how far we can go down that way. The roads are all pretty messed up. The mountainside here is really chewed up. Poor families over here. I feel sorry for them, their house. We were lucky, very lucky last night. Hi. <laughs> oh. I used to, you couldn't see any of this right here. All this was, uh, I didn't even know there was homes back in there, but all the trees are all stripped. Most of it's laying here on the ground. This used to be a little house right here. And the roof got peeled off of it. try to get through this as you can see we got tree limbs down across the road so let's see if we can get we're gonna go underneath that so what do you think hon? last time we came through here this all this wood here you see was was uh, all up. Here's a huge tree that fell down on this right across this house, and uh, it's pretty bad. I mean, you can see the house, the the tarp right there, the house underneath it. It's a it's a big it's a big tree. Got a long line here for a gig. 
getting getting water. It's all for water. Been here since five o'clock this morning. It is now what time, hun? Eight. Eight o'clock. So 8 about 30. three hours. Eight thirty. And if I can get an idea, we'll we'll view, see what it looks like behind us. And the list, and the line goes all the way up there. Back there. I thought I'd show you that we are still in the midst of ground zero here for uh, Typhoon Odette. And I want to show you some of the things that we have to go through right now. So here is our only water source as of right now. As you can see, the water is filling up. It is clear water. It is a good, it's a mountain, it's mountain clear. And it comes all the way up there if I can find the hose here there it is it goes all the way up all the way up to the top of the mountain up there and then they buried it into the ground with the natural spring water here we are doing the water thing got your hose in there yeah it's not a lot of water coming out of there but it is there's some Coming a long way. There's a goat up there. <laughs> up there. Mountains. Where, where? There are some mountains. Over there, there's goats everywhere. Yeah, over there. Yeah. <laughs> our spring water, we do have to, that's not our drinking water, that's for like showering and uh, doing your clothes, your dishes, stuff like that. It is clear, which is good. Now, if you were going to drink it, which a lot of people are having to do because there's no electricity hardly anywhere in Cebu so we were pretty bad off here no electric as of right now no electric no water no Wi-Fi uh, today is December 22nd uh, it's Wednesday so this past Saturday we decided that we're just gonna have to splurge and get us something to keep our freezer going and keep uh, the fan on to keep cool I got my chair right here and there's what I bought we bought a little Mitsubo Mitsuba and that's how you pronounce it it's a little electric generator puts out 220 volts um, it uses 2t oil here which you use three caps in it per liter so as you can see we have liter bottles we fill up put our in, and then we put it in here um, we use one of our old older water jugs to buy gasoline as you can see it's up there and that one's almost full over there that one's already pre-mixed but that one's not the whole problem with this uh buying the generator which is a really good idea i mean it really saved us it saved our, our freezer um we can only run it uh it'll it'll run continuously as long as you keep putting gas in it but that's the issue uh there's a gas shortage here on the island now and people are waiting six to eight hours just to get gas for their cars let alone gasoline for generators in some places are not even filling up uh, containers for uh, generators so like the last time we went and bought gas um, all this gas you see here we bought but we put it in put it in kitty so what I did when I got home I had to siphon out the gasoline for the generator so we took out what we put in the van took it out put it in a blue can Luckily, um, our van doesn't have that little protecting screen to keep people from stealing gas because uh, I had no issue with getting gas out of the van. And this little generator burns about uh, one liter every two, two and a half hours. So if you do the math, that's a lot of gasoline. It's a lot of money. Um, and of course, the prices of gasoline just went skyrocketing because people need it. This little guy here, when we first looked at it, which was Friday, uh, I was going to buy it Friday, but I think it was Friday. Anyway, the day before we bought it, we looked at it. 
and um, it was six thousand no, I'm sorry seven thousand five hundred pesos seven thousand so about five six seven a little over a hundred dollars about 120 130 dollars for this in dollars I'm not real sure on the exchange rate but it was seven thousand five hundred so five thousand pesos is about a hundred bucks so you can kind of do the math so anyway we that was seven five the next day of course I got there they were pulling down the uh, the garage the door they were pulling down the door and I said wait 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 you know is that one right there for sale and he says yes we have it in stock I said well I want one of those they said sorry sir we're closed click and of course I was done and there was a line there there was a huge line there when I got there so what we did was we went back the next day but they opened up at 8 so we were there at 7 luckily we were the very first people there on on the uh, the doors waiting for them to open because by the time 8 o'clock rolled around they were uh they were really really sad the, the line was you it was a good 20 25 people there waiting to buy one of these little generators and so we got luck lucky we decided to get up and go early in the morning So we we made it through her, uh, hurricane. It was a typhoon. Typhoon Odette. Typhoon Odette. And when I found out uh, through the radio that they, they had winds reaching 200 miles per hour. I don't know what that is in kilometers, but it was 200 miles per hour at certain places. And it we, we were at ground zero. It was horrible here. Yeah. I've never been in a typhoon. It scared the crap out of me. Um, Almost our roof. Yeah. Uh, we had we had water coming in places we shouldn't have had water. We had uh, you seen a little bit of the damage the next morning on the on the uh, on the deck here and also up the street at the canteen who really got hit bad up there. Yeah. Um, many people have lost their homes completely, and uh, 19 people had died during the storm. Yeah, all over here. All over this area. Yeah, Cebu. Yeah. So it was really it's really a bad. It's been a bad few days. Now this is today day six. Seven. Day seven? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Day seven. Day seven with no electricity. No water. No water. <laughs> it's hard to get gas. No Wi Fi. Gas shortage. Yeah. Um, we bread, wait. Yeah. Bread shortage. Bread shortage. We also, wait. mga bottled water in the mall is. And since there's no electricity, people can't. Um, where you do the water, the drinking water. They can't run, they refill filling stations where you refill your blue containers. They can't refill them because no electricity. Yeah. So uh, people are resorting to doing the have to work, but we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you where we get our water and I'm also gonna show you how we have electricity some of the time. Um, but we're gonna have to start getting water. And uh, we were lucky because when the storm hit, we had, we had had three and a half uh, no, two and a half container. Two and a half, yeah, two and, two and a half containers of water. We just exchanged one last night, so we have one empty container, which means either later this afternoon or tomorrow, we're going to start uh, pitching water and boiling it, and then we're going to <laughs> fill up our containers for drinking water because yeah. um, there's there's no drinking water right now. Yeah, we don't know where. Uh, there's a refilling station there in the other barangay in Laray, but. Oh my God, it's a long, long, long line. We talked to our neighbor who went and got some gasoline and he was in line for 10 hours yeah. for gasoline. That's how, uh, we when we got there at five, we thought we'd be smart and it opened up at five. We got there at four o'clock. Four o'clock, but yeah. uh, we're still in the, <laughs> how many? We, we showed up and, and it was almost a half a mile long line, easily. And uh, we get the gas 9 a.m. we finish your Yeah. Thing. At from four o'clock and yeah, from yeah, from four o'clock in the morning to nine to nine o'clock in the morning, and we finally Mama, got gas. Mama, Mama, yeah, I have, I don't have orange. You, know, you have orange right there, honey. Little Liam's doing some coloring out here today. Today's a nice day. And it's not so hot. The last yeah. three days have been a oh scorchers. My God. Look at my color. Yeah, I'm turning. Even strong red. heat, 
I pitch water there in the <laughs> natural water so that we have the water safe. Yeah, and we've been, uh, we have many containers. I'll show you our containers for our water. So our water, there's our containers for our water. All of washing these here, the clothes. washing the clothes, dishes, dishes and flushing the toilet. She already got some clean dishes over there, but that's for, that's all that, that's all water. We get those Mama, every morning Mama, and every night. Mama, yes. Mama, blue dog, blue dog. Oh, oh my gosh. So that's what it's been like Mama, here. Mama, daddy, daddy. Yes, hon. Look, blue dog. Very pretty blue dog. Commercial. Blue. Commercial bread. <laughs> But it's been this way here for the last six, seven days now. And uh, what happened this morning when the the the, the Vel Vaco Vaco is the electric company. You said yeah, the it. dump truck passed by, and then I asked when we have electric here in our area, and then he said more or less one month. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, so we're looking at maybe the end, middle of January, or end of January before we have electric, maybe. Um, there, where are the places they have electric power? In Vanilla, in Talamban, Cebu City. Yeah, some of the places that are near in the hospitals or mga big company, they already have a electric there because they are in the main road. That's a main road. Yeah. So maybe they do first there. Like police stations. Yeah, police station, hospital. Hospitals. Yeah. Government buildings. And then, and we're kind of lucky because here in, in our city, we also have a pretty good sized jail, right? Yeah. And we also have a, a major hospital. Yeah, yeah. We have a major hospital, the one where Liam was born, Mendero Hospital. Um, and like, then the church is also... Yeah, a big part of the society. Yeah, and then municipality, I think we have the same electric line. Yeah. So hopefully 25 we have our electric because that's what they said during Christmas we have our electric. I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> yeah, it was the governor, wasn't it? Didn't she yeah, say? Go Governor Gwen, she... She said that, that we would probably, probably or most likely? Most likely. She's fine, uh, she, she's finding her way to have an electric here all over Cebu province, which is a typhoon of it. Yeah. And we, it was been bad. We took a ride afterwards. I even got some pictures and some video. I'll put in the video. Yeah. So uh, we seen so many major um, houses. Houses that just destroyed. Yeah. We also had many, many so poles sad. down. A couple of times we actually had to stop and take off the top of our our uh, rack off the van to get under some of the poles that yeah, were down. Yeah, or trees. Or trees. Um, so it was. It's pretty bad. It was bad. Yeah, but so sad to the houses that is made of light materials yeah, the because homes. they are the one who totally Yeah, it was nothing there. Yeah, nothing. It's collapsed. It's just gone. Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, we're doing pretty good. We we were lucky that our neighbor, uh, Wally, he he had lunch with us a couple of times. He doesn't have uh, of course no one has electric, so uh, he's been pitching in with gasoline for us. And we use it on our Jenny, and we keep his food in our freezer, which kind of helps us too, and helps him also. Yeah. Um, we have uh, one that family, and is there one down there that's gone. Or we yeah, get? only there. And, and Mar Muriel. Yeah, Maria going back, and back forth. to her. Yeah, back and forth to her okay. parents. Some of the families here in our little neighborhood here have uh, decided to leave because there's no water. You know, we have water now, water source. Um, very small water source. Yeah, but, but the some reason of them because their daily needs, they cannot mm. survive for their daily needs because no electric, no ATM machine, so they cannot uh, withdraw their money. So it's better to go to the other island, going mm -hmm. to their family to survive. Now there, there's some, there's some people, some of your family has electric, right? Your mom? Yeah, yeah some more in Mama, the they have because, Mama. yes. We need to cover this for this. Okay, go on. Because the typhoon of it was totally hit here in yeah. Cebu. Mm -hmm. in, not in the Mama? other island. Mama, yeah. do you have rainbow cats? Yeah, there's yes. rainbow cats. Yeah, this island, Cebu Island, was literally in its in Odette's gun site. It huh? hit a square broad. I mean, it hit a, it, it flew over Thank us. Thank you, Yellow. Yes. Um, 
the, the tarp which we're sitting under now, which is like a little canopy to keep us out of the sun, <laughs> even though the, the, the tarp was gone, the, the cover was gone, it was just a, a, a frame. Mama, Mama the frame still flipped one. over and Mama, landed over there. Mama, look! I think I've got... Mama, look! It's it open! Yeah. Okay. Shh, shh. And also, some of our neighbors here, their window was broken. Oh yeah, we've had windows blown out down the street. Our neighbors had their windows blown out, but the wind was so strong here, and like it, it was it was horrible. I, it was really nerve wracking, and it lasted. It was solid for how many hours? Well, three, four, three, four, hours? four hours solid. If three how many hours because when I last time when I there's an internet when I check it says that the wind stays 18 hours that's why oh, 18 yeah. hours I'm scared that our roof will be gone so yeah. I pack all our some important clothes or things for Liam and us so that whatever happened we still have a clothes or our mga papers yeah, we got we got said we have we got so lucky the yeah. damage to our place was so minimal, uh, but I tell you what, when that wind hit, the, when it when it gusted, even though it was so fast, there was still hard gusts. This whole house just shook. Yeah. And I, it, I felt like it was just going to come down. Yeah. When I lo lay down in the couch, the couch like that. Yeah. It's, it's it was it was like being in the middle of a tornado for four and a half yeah. hours, solid. It was it was really scary. Yeah. I hate to be on the seas when I get. Yeah. When the uh, when the wind blows strong, like dog, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. So the three kids <laughs> will cry and then they don't know where to run. Liam and then my two, <laughs> yeah, they two were, girls here. They would run, they try to get to us as quick as possible. Yeah. So we pretty strange. much stayed huddled downstairs. Yeah. They, we wanted to be able to get out in a hurry. Yeah. Um, but we're okay. We made it through. Everything is all right. Um, Right now, we're just struggling to, to keep the, the freezer from defrosting. Um, so what we're doing is we're running our generator for about an hour, an hour and a half, and then uh, refilling it, which takes two liters to fill it. We'll wait about four hours, run it for another hour. We want to keep that, keep it as cold as possible. Yeah. And not use the Jenny as much as possible. You know, yeah, because the, the gasoline... Uh... It, yeah, the shortage is so bad right so now. So bad. They will not... Some of the gasoline station they will not refill. Only priority is the car. Yeah. So last last time, we cannot buy refill only in the car. So they get the. Way to siphon it yeah. all out there. <laughs> <laughs> and also, as what I remember, um, last typhoon that Mama, I experienced is also strong. Mama. Yes. Look. The same. Wow. I think the same. Odes oh, is roping. Yeah. It. I think it's been 30 years and now we experience the strong again. Yeah. I hope we won't see it for another 30 yeah, years. Yeah, I and also I don't know the news in our old house what happened, maybe the roof is gone there. Yeah, we don't know anybody. Yeah, yet. I don't know house. the I don't know the my kuya they're they're okay, my sister in law they're okay, I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be finding that out soon. Yeah, my auntie there, I don't know. Oh, and if you remember right, when we do our monthly bills, we also have two different, you know, we cook with uh, propane, what they call it gaso here. Yeah. There's also now a shortage of gaso. So, um, you know, we may we may end up not be able to find gaso, and so what we'll have to do is... Uh, charcoal! Charcoal! The old... Old way. <laughs> yeah, but it's um, the rice when you cook the... The rice and the charcoal is different taste than oh. in the, the soil. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of down wood right now. So yeah, we'll no have problem for the wood. No the problem charcoal. for burning wood if we have to to cook. Yeah, with. Mama. And boil water, of course. Yes. <laughs> so we're doing okay right now. So um, we'll do another update uh, hopefully within the next day or two with electricity. Saturdays. Christmas. Yeah, Saturday is Christmas. <laughs> We're probably going to have our Christmas dinner outside because yeah, it's, it's probably it's more lighter uh, and yeah, cooler. Yeah, cooler here. Yeah. So we're going to cut this right now and uh, do some more uh, pitching water and do some coloring. Yeah. So I'm Kelly. I'm Ed. Let's get a Philippine adventure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.